I always I saw a guy do it one time back when we were Claxton. Yeah. The, that outside wheel went off the road. Yeah. And he literally had to pull off and stop and to put it back on the road. Because he was right on the edge and the car went by and he kind of flinched. Okay. I saw a lot of them. I saw a tandem that way also in yeah. Florida. Yeah. On the hills, they were almost like at a dead stop. They were really cranky. But on the downhill, they were going pretty good. I saw one years ago with the steering underneath the uh, seat. With a small wheel and a big one in the front. That one was nice. I rode it a little bit. I just didn't have the money at the time. I would avoid it. Well, they make a titanium. That's right. Like, you know, it weighs like 21 pounds. Uh-huh. And, uh, where is he? And all the gear and light. Sorry. It sets up off the ground. Like 20 inches. outside of Charleston yeah. and I rode along there to the Sullivan Island we came back into Mount Pleasant because he started a ride with in town, downtown at the baseball stadium so I rode 15 miles in by myself and then I went out to Pauley Beach with the group well we stayed over uh, we, my wife stayed at the uh, hotel we, you know, we rented a condo with another couple. Right, the club, the club, right? Some people love it. Oh, this is organized. This is best people. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. 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 right. But that'd be a good ride to do, you know. Well, yeah. well, well we're here all the time in the mix. Right, you know. Okay. That's one reason I wanted to come here. You know, so I need more distance. Thank you, Hunter. Oh, we did that. That was nice. I gotta show you the film on that. We all stuck together. Yeah, he was sick he was, you know. Oh yeah, he was sick the oh, night before. Yeah, but we want to look but at it. Well, it was good the way we stuck together though. Yeah. Yeah, The hills were kicking my ass. So uh, they kind of held up. And then I would catch up with them at the rest area. But towards the end, the last six miles was all uphill. They are straight out of the deep. Well, it was not steep, but it was a long grade, you know. Yeah. Once, 
Once you lose your momentum coming down, like I went down a hill for 29 miles an hour. Then I had like a two mile climb. You know, it was kind of great. It wasn't a real steep, but it was just six miles before you finish 100 miles. So how long did it take? Seven hours. Oh, we average about 14. 14, yeah. Yeah. Every 12 miles they had to take it. Oh, and what's good about Flax is, uh, at the end they ask you to vote for who had the best spread, you know, when you stop. So they really show out, you know. And then at the end you had barbecue chicken and nice, nice meal. It really set up good. And they had tag wagons. I didn't see a lot of them, but I didn't need any, so I guess they were around. So when you go to Tennessee, uh, was it Kentucky? Kentucky? Yeah. 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 You don't ride much there. Huh? Yeah. You only had a hundred words. Well, I got cold oh, really. Yeah. You, had you know, there's nobody to ride with. You know, okay. And I'm not that motivated. It's yeah. hilly. Yeah, I can. Yeah, you know, you hills to, uh, yeah. kind of get you down. The good news is my wife uh, has taken up running again. And her, yeah. Look at that. Don't see that one up since we've been back here. Look at that. Yeah. Nice. And, uh, all on 100 Yeah. He went over, but he got the to go to 180. You can ask all the people. We have kind of got his old development Yeah, see, this is what I did in Kentucky. My uh, acreage and then so, put it in the small acreages. I okay. think. Yeah, that's a good one. Good one. Bill? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Who's coming to Kentucky these days? Retirees? Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, no, you know, I think a lot of people come here just because it's, uh, they like the rural. Uh, Atmosphere, it's uh, growing for some reason. Actually, those and it's are got, criteria. Uh, you know, let's okay. Yeah, those are the criteria. It's got jobs at 350, 400,000 people. Had a, uh huh. So it's big enough to have. Uh, what do they do there? And I know that our region is the horse cowboy world. Oh, okay. I know there's a lot of money in that. Well, and, uh, you know, uh, at first glance, you don't see where. So what? It doesn't make jobs well done, right? I mean, they have stables, and they have stud farms, race training farms, and 